Politicians have a scheme to open the reservation to white settlers. It is thought by many that a deputation of the chiefs and braves will be invited to Washington this winter to relinquish the reservation, at least in part. Superintendent Cullen told the chiefs that they were going to be invited to Washington to readjust the old treaty. Little Crow was greatly excited at this news as he had wanted to go to Washington for several years past. In February of 1858, the new agent, Joseph R. Brown, brought the chiefs to Washington and they entered into negotiations with the Assistant Commissioner of Indian Affairs, Charles E. Mix. However, Mix kept putting off substantive discussion and he kept sending the chiefs on sightseeing trips. On April 26, the chiefs were sent to the White House to speak with President James Buchanan. Buchanan urged them to live like white people, to wear white man's clothes, and to begin farming. No, I was born an Indian, and I will die like one. I was given a breech clout as my first garment, and I will always wear one. Finally, on May 26th, after three months in Washington, Mix broke the news that the government wanted to buy the northern 10-mile strip of the reservation. You promised us that we should have the same land forever. You now want to take half of it away. When we came here, I thought we could do business. But it appears you are getting papers all around me, so that after a while, I will have nothing left. Mix threatened the chiefs. He said that if they did not relinquish this reservation land, then the state of Minnesota would probably take it by force. It is little else than a farce to call our agreements with the Indians treaties. They have no power to enforce them, no minister or consul to present their views or defend their rights. St. Peter Tribune. About that time, the chiefs happened to visit the elderly former Dakota agent, Lawrence Tolliver, and Little Crow poured out his heart. Since you left us, a dark cloud has hung over our nation. We have lost confidence in the promises of our great father and his people. Bad men have nearly destroyed us. Since you left, we have had five agents as our fathers. We fail to get a friend and anyone like you. They all join the traitors. <laughs> 